More documents released in the Jeffrey Epstein case, but this time it includes allegations that both Donald Trump and Bill Clinton, among others, had sex with girls, and some of it was caught on videotape. 2016 emails between Epstein accuser Sarah Ransom and a New York Post reporter reveal Ransom saying, quote, my friend had sexual intercourse with Clinton, Prince Andrew, and Richard Branson. Sex tapes were, in fact, filmed on each separate occasion. I eventually managed to persuade her to send me some of the video footage which she kept implicating all three men. Ransom didn't share any of those alleged sex tapes, but she did say, I have backed up the footage on several USB sticks and have securely sent them to various different locations throughout Europe. She supposedly told one person where the videos were. If they do exist, they've never been made public, but didn't stop there. She said her friend was also allegedly given a substantial payout by the Clinton Foundation to stay silent in 2008 in order to supposedly protect Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. She wrote, they heavily intimidated her, ruffled her up. Luckily, she took photos as evidence and was then forced to sign a confidentiality agreement, which ensures that she can never come forward publicly implicating her husband. Ransom also made allegations about another friend and former President Trump. Quote, I also know she had sexual relations with Trump at Jeffrey's New York mansion on regular occasions, as I once met Jen for coffee just before she was going to meet Trump and Epstein together at his mansion. But Ransom later retracted all her claims. According to an email from October 3rd, 2016, to the Post reporter, quote, I'd like to retract everything I've said to you and walk away from this. It's not worth coming forward, and I will never be heard anyhow, and only bad things will happen as a consequence of me going public. The New Yorker reported that Ransom had said she had invented the tapes to draw attention to Epstein's behavior. So to help us sort out what all of this means, if anything, is Ben Weider. He's an investigative reporter for the Miami Herald who's been covering the Epstein case for the last several years. Ben, thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so these are very salacious allegations. Yeah, how, how serious, how credible are they? Well, I think that, um, you know, the specific allegations about, you know, about Trump and Clinton, uh, Richard Branson has mentioned, you know, Sarah Ransom has recanted those. But but what she has not recanted and, and what she has maintained throughout is that she was abused by Jeffrey Epstein and that Ghislaine Maxwell, you know, facilitated that abuse. And, and she does have evidence to support her claims about Jeffrey Epstein and his abuse. Uh, for example, you know, she clearly visited his properties. She has their flight log showing her visiting. Um, she uh, has photographs, uh, in fact, some of which were included in the filings today that were released. And uh, the, the judge later said actually should not have been released. Um, and you know, she has emails that she exchanged with one of Jeffrey Epstein's assistants, a woman named Leslie Groff. Um, and, and these should give a picture, actually, into uh, Jeffrey Epstein's kind of control of all aspects of her life. She at one point reports how much she weighs because, as she has said, you know, Jeffrey Epstein monitored her weight uh, as part of, you know, one of the many things that he did to sort of control her life. And, and ultimately, as she has said, you know, to to uh, force her to comply with his sexual desires. So that part of her story, you know, has not wavered. Well, let me, let me add, um, I want to come back. I want to come back because, look, the consistency of the allegations against Epstein and Maxwell are really not even that much in question at this point. I want to read again. This is from another allegation she said. She said, I personally can confirm that I have, with my own two eyes, seen evidence of these sexual acts, which clearly identifies Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, Richard Branson, having sexual intercourse with my friend. Is she now saying that is not true? Yeah, and you know, it's, it's hard to know what to make of, of these emails. And I think the important thing to keep in mind when you're talking about Sarah Ransom, when you're talking about many of the girls who were abused um, by Epstein is that you know, many of them have had very troubled lives both before and after the abuse. And, and that's something that Sarah Ransom wrote about in her book a few years ago. Um, but, you know, I read these as, you know, the sort of desperate pleas of a woman who's hoping to get her story taken seriously because so many Epstein victims, you know, believed for so long that no one would listen to them and, and basically that they had to jump up and down to get anyone to pay attention. Hmm. So you, you believe when she recanted, at least maybe the New Yorker's claim, that she invented these claims about videotapes, et cetera, just to get people to pay attention to the truth, by the way, about Jeffrey Epstein. I do. I do. Yeah. I mean, listen, I also think that she has had a troubled life. And, and I think many of these women have had yeah. troubled lives. And 
you know, they've had addictions in some cases that they've dealt with. I'm not saying severe ransom, but but other women, they've they've you know they've they've had extensive therapy. Um, you know, that's an important thing to keep in mind um, when you're talking about Epstein's victims or really any uh, victim of sexual assault. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.